I think he's got passion and spirit, but there are those who still question him. You're, this morning, how do you feel about Lamar Jackson, franchise quarterback? In July and August, and I had this conversation with somebody with the Ravens, um, I said, man, I, I don't feel good about sort of the way that I think Lamar is going to play, which is to run 10, 12, 13 times every week, 8, 10, 12, let's say. And, uh, and this guy said, this is what Lamar does. I think, you know, I, basically, I mean, I don't remember exactly, but I mean, it was basically, we don't want to neuter him, okay? And so last night, I watched that game and I said, Lamar Jackson should play like this. Yeah. He should take off. Yeah. Because he is he is a weapon unlike anybody. Unlike Russell Wilson, unlike Mahomes, unlike Taysom Hill. I, I mean, unlike anybody. Uh, even unlike Deshaun Watson. And the reason that he is, is that he can be a blip on the radar screen. He can make people miss who are right in front of him. And so I think Last night showed me that, I mean, look, last year, I think it was kind of fluky that he led the NFL in touchdown passes. Yeah. I don't know that he'll ever do that again. But he needs to play with his legs. He's not only an exciting player, but he is a winning player with his legs. Yeah, thank you. He's a winning player. You know, it's it's funny. Not everything also, uh, it's, it's, I've talked to this about friends. Not everything lasts a lifetime. So, you know, you don't marry everybody a date. I mean, let's say he lasted right. seven years. Seven years of Lamar, he got hurt. Right. Like, I would take, winning 79% of his games, <laughs> I'll take that for seven years over 14 years of average. Not only that, Colin, but think, but think about this. Think about it this way, okay? If you told Lamar, stay in the pocket, we only want you running three times a game and only when forced, okay? Do that and you're going to last 13 to 15 years or, or who knows, maybe even longer. Or you could be, relatively speaking, a meteor across the NFL sky and be at the peak of your game for 10 years. What would you take? Easy. I'll definitely take the 10. I'll worry about 2030 in 2030. <laughs> or 2029 for the draft. I believe, um, yeah. I think Buffalo, you know, the history of the Steelers in Buffalo is not that different, except one won all the Super Bowls they were in, you know, and the other one had lost it. But they're both proud franchises that have won, had a lot of great players. And I said the other day, Watching the Steelers' Bills, it was like watching the Steelers 13 years ago. Ben was in like year four. He was taking off. The coach was from William and Mary, defensive coach. And we, it, he may not be the best young quarterback. There was this kid named Manning and Tom Brady. But I got to tell you, when I look at Josh Allen and, and Sean McDermott, I honestly think this morning that is a top three. I don't think I'm hyperbolic. I think it's a top three franchise for the next decade in the NFL. That's how strongly I feel about Buffalo this morning. Your thoughts? Yeah, I don't know. Top three, we'll see. I think they got to do something first, Colin. And again, I, I think right now that uh, Josh Allen has got a good chance to be a Jim Kelly type force in the NFL. But again, look, I'm a little hesitant of, you know, handing Buffalo this title, that title and every other title because they haven't won anything yet. They haven't won anything basically in 25 years. And again, I'm not holding that against them. I just want to see it. You know, I want to see what happens in a huge game in January. That's when legends are made. That's when great franchises are made. Um, Jalen Hurts. Let's say he goes. Oh, I, I think um, I think they're going to lose to Arizona. But let's just say he won. He beat the Saints. He's got three games left. He goes uh, two and one. So he ends up being three and one. But he completes 61% of his throws. You know, it's more run than throw. Do you have a solution or a problem in Philadelphia? What do you make of what happened this weekend? Um, I think that I want to, at the end of this season, let's assume that the Eagles don't make the playoffs, okay? And at the end of this season, what I want to do, if I'm Doug Peterson, if I'm Howie Roseman, if I'm Jeffrey Lurie, I want... 
all the emotions to die down for six weeks, okay? I want everybody to go away. I want everybody to think. And then February 15th, a week after the Super Bowl, let's have either a meeting or a Zoom meeting, <laughs> you know? And if, if we can, let's have a meeting and discuss where everything is and what everybody wants, okay? And by that, I mean, if, if in that meeting, Carson Wentz says, I want out, I absolutely want out, make the best deal you can for me, I'm not gonna be a good guy if you don't trade me, okay? Well, and I don't think he would do that, but who knows? I don't know what'll happen. And, you know, if I'm the Eagles at that time, I have to determine whether I want to take a pretty major cap hit in 2021 and go with the kid who's making nothing on the cap and go with the kid and, and basically try to do the best deal I can for Carson Wentz. And that's probably the way I do it. To me, Colin... I think the team that would be most interesting and the most interested is Indianapolis. It makes all the sense in the world. Reunited with Frank Reich. It's in central Indiana. Everything is nice, calm, and cool. And there's not a WIP there. <laughs> Sports radio is just obnoxious. Okay, finally. Um, I, think, I think I would vote Aaron Rodgers MVP. You could make the argument for Mahomes. I think we'd vote. We kind of know where that's at. Let's do coach of the year. I do not remember a year where there's more legitimate candidates for coach of the year. Um, I love what Sean McDermott's doing. I just, I think what they have done to Josh Allen is amazing. I think I'd probably go McDermott. Do you have a coach of the year this morning? Yeah. I love that pick because I think the one thing I, I really, I always say about these awards is that they're 16 game awards. We have 13 sixteenths of the evidence right now for this award. So all you can do is say, if the season ended today, who would I vote for? Two weeks ago, I would have said, number one, Mike Tomlin, number two, Stefanski, number three, uh, Brian Flores. Today, there's a good chance I would say Sean McDermott, although I want to see if Mike Tomlin gets him out of the muck in the mire. Yeah. And if the Steelers can come back, I don't mean like this week in Cincinnati, okay? But I mean, you know, finishing off the season in style, winning week 17 at Cleveland. If they can come back and play well down the stretch, there's a good chance I'd still go with Tomlin. Good stuff. Peter King, NBCSports.com. Pro Football Hall of Fame on that committee since 92. A member of the Board of Selectors. As always, Peter, great seeing you. Thank you, Colin. I do think he makes a good point. Indianapolis is just whew, less yelling, more calming. <laughs> Nothing against Philadelphia. Why we love Philadelphia is the passion, but maybe it's engulfing a young quarterback, Carson Wentz. It's just engulfing him. Um, all right, coming up next, <laughs> why something about last night really, and maybe Baltimore and Cleveland fans will hate hearing this, and it's a compliment, but it doesn't sound like it. That's coming up. There's no better story than a Cinderella story. A lower-seated team overlooked by odds makers surprises the world. And that is Pure Talk Wireless. They are not a one. They're not Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. The heavy favorites who gouge you for data you'll never use. Crush you for perks you'll never use. Stop paying for fluff. At Pure Talk USA, it's 20 bucks a month. You get unlimited talk. You get unlimited texting. You get two gigs of data, but you save $800 a year. And you don't have to change your phone. You don't have to change your number. And, and with Pure Talk USA, it's on the exact same towers as one of the big dogs. And, and so you get the same coverage. I'll save you even more with Pure Talk. If you grab your phone.